Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In our previous video, we talked about AWS SSO, how you can enable it, how you can create users, groups, permissions that, how it seamlessly work with AWS organization and you can list all your accounts under your AWS organization in AWS SSO, how you can add or assign a user to a particular account and how those users can access or log into those accounts by using AWS SSO user, user ID and passwords. So in today's video, we are going to uh, talk about that how you can integrate your Azure Active Directory as an external identity provider for AWS SSO. So right now, uh, when what we talk till now is that uh, SSO is there, then AWS organization, whatever accounts you have underneath AWS organization, it will come in AWS SSO and when you enable it, it will create a role in these accounts and when a user tries to log in in these accounts, they use that particular role, uh, role to log in. And here AWS SSO is acting as your uh, identity provider because all the user and groups information are stored in AWS SSO. But now you can also use an external identity provider. So suppose you have your organization who is already using Azure Active Directory where your users and groups and everything is stored and you don't want to maintain a separate list in AWS SSO you want to integrate uh, that Active Directory with your SSO so now it's possible and in this video I'm going to show it and for that what AWS SSO does it use SAML and we need to little, have a little bit of understanding that how SAML work and what it is so what is SAML SAML is a security assertion markup language and it is an open federation standard that allows an identity provider to authenticate users and pass identity and security information about those users to a service provider. Now you might uh, think well, what is the identity provider or service provider so think in that terms like identity provider is your Azure Active Directory who is storing all your user information and the service provider is your uh, AWS accounts or suppose Salesforce or Asana, any any application you may integrate with AWS SSO. So those are service provider. So whenever you try to log into the service provider, it will go to the identity provider asking, hey, can you please authenticate this, that user? Can you please tell me this user is who they are claiming to be? And identity provider will authenticate that user and pass the authorization about that user to the service provider so that's a little bit about saml next when they authenticate they send a saml assertion and the saml assertion is basically an xml document uh, that identity provider sends to the service provider and it contains user authorization status and there are three types of it uh, authentication attribute and authorization uh, decisions i'm not gonna go in detail but uh, if you want you can read about these uh, this is kind of very basic stuff. Uh, next, just for the high level, the how the SAML assertion work, the how the login, the whole process work, is when user log in to the browser, it goes to the identity provider. Identity provider uh, authorize that, uh, basically authenticate that particular user and send the SAML assertion document. The SAML assertion document is sent back to AWS. AWS use it that information and called STS to generate your access ID and secret token and which is used again to sign into your AWS console. So next I'll log into the AWS console and I'll show you how you can create an external identity provider as your active directory and what steps you need to take. Okay, so I have logged in into my console and I have opened AWS SSO. Uh, it's the same setup what we did in our last video and if you haven't uh, watch that video please go ahead and watch that video uh, that talks about basics of AWS SSO uh, here you can see that the identity source is AWS SSO right now and we need to change it to external identity provider so for that we'll go to settings and here you can see the identity source is AWS SSO we'll go to action and we'll click on change identity source now here you have three options so the current is AWS SSO you can use Active Directory, uh, which is AWS Managed Active Directory, or you can connect uh, to your existing Active Directory. But we are going to use external identity provider, uh, which uh, covers our Azure portal, uh, Azure Active Directory. We'll click on Next. And then 
it asks me to download the metadata so this metadata will be used uh, when i create active directory uh, enterprise application on my azure side so this service provider metadata will be used and this metadata will be used there to create a trust between these two so so let me go to the azure portal uh, if you go to the azure portal and you go to uh, let me take it back go to azure active directory then go to enterprise applications and what we need to do, we need to create a new application. So here search for AWS. And for this, you need to use uh, AWS single sign-on. So you might see two of them, AWS single account access and the other one is single sign-on. Don't use the single account access because that is used when you are creating uh, identity provider for your IAM. For your SSO, you need to use the AWS single sign-on. So we'll select that and we'll give it in a name AWS CDD SSO and we'll do create. Okay, so my application is created. Next, what I'll do, I'll go to uh, set up single sign on. I'll go to SAML. So the first thing what I need to do here is I need to upload the metadata. So whatever metadata I'll download from here that need to be uploaded to my enterprise application here. So let me download it and then I'll upload it there. Okay, so I downloaded the file and next what I will do, I'll go here upload and select the file. Okay, I selected the file and we'll click on add. So it will uh, show some information and we can click on save. Okay, so my single sign on configuration file is saved and what next we need to do is we need to download this federation metadata XML file. So we'll download that. And it's downloaded to my download folder and what we need to do that we need to upload this file here as an identity provider metadata. So basically what we are doing that we are getting the service provider metadata and giving it to Azure Active Directory and we are getting the metadata from the identity provider and giving it to my uh, AWS SSO and that will help to build a trust relationship. So let me choose the file and uh, I'll upload it. Okay, I selected the file and then we'll go and click on next. It will ask me to accept and write that and we'll say change identity provider and here you can see my identity provider has changed from AWS SSO to external identity provider. So the next thing what we need to do we need to uh, enable the automatic provisioning from SSO side. So we'll click on enable and what it will do that it will give me a SCIM endpoint and access token and what SCIM is SCIM is a system for cross domain identity management and it keeps your AWS SSO identities in sync with the identities in your IDP. So whatever users you are creating in an IDP, this ICIM will help you to provision or kind of sync with your AWS SSO. Uh, and it will just kind of like copy all the users, whatever you have there in your AWS SSO. And it also include like any provisioning, any update or any deprovisioning of users, which happen between your IDP and your AWS SSO. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this endpoint and uh, token and then we'll update this information in our Azure Active Directory. Okay, so I have copied this information and one thing to keep in mind that uh, you, uh, very first time when you get this information, you have to copy this, otherwise uh, once it's gone, it's gone and you cannot get the same data again. You can regenerate it, but you cannot get the same data again. So let's close it and then go to Active Directory site and what we need to do here is we'll click on provisioning and then we'll say get started we'll click on automatic provisioning and here it needs your uh, tenant URL and your secret token so the URL which we noted from our uh, AWS SSO console is SEIM URL and then it needs the token and we'll just put the token which I copied from my 
AWS SSO. So we'll and then we'll click on test connection. So if you write uh, this URL and token is successful, then it will say that uh, connection is done. And what we'll do, we'll click on save. Okay. So I don't want to save it. Now I don't want to start provisioning. Before that, what I want to do, I want to assign the users, add the users to this application. So we we'll click on add user. And what I'm going to do, I'll use these two users. We'll select it and we'll assign. Now we'll go to provisioning and what we'll do, we'll start provisioning. Before that, I can show you that right now, the only user I have is a demo dev user, which we created in our earlier video. Let's do start provisioning. It will take, uh, yeah, so you can see there are two users which are being synced and if I go here you can see both the users are being uh, copied here and it's created by SCIM so it's not manual it's created by SCIM another thing to note here that because your identity source is currently configured as external identity provider to add new users or edit their attribute you must be using your external identity provider so what that means that you cannot create any manual user in AWS SSO if you are using external identity provider. So whatever you have user you had, you have it, but you cannot create any other users going forward. So next, uh, how to assign uh, these users to an account is the same process. We'll go to the AWS accounts. And uh, suppose I want to assign it to again development account, assign user. And then you can choose your user. Suppose this one I want to assign. Same process, you will give the permission set and submit. Now, if the user wants to log into this, so you will use the same user portal. And I can go to. copy the it will ask for which user which is already there so I'll select that and you can see that it's showing me an account so this is the account which we give access so we can select it and we can say management console and now you can see that uh, this account this user has been logged in by using the administrator access and it's using this particular role and if we go to IAM and role SSO so we'll see the new role the same role which was created was assumed by this user when they logged in to this account so that's how AWS SSO with the external identity provider work so if you have more users, you can add it to the external identity provider in your Azure AD and they will be synced by using a CIM to your AWS SSO and then you can use that uh, AWS uh, SSO to log into your different accounts. So that's it for today's video of uh, Fox. Please let me know if you have any question and if you like the video, please hit the like button and share with your friends. Uh, and I will be uploading more videos on AWS and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.